certainly the bears are starting to move. There's no question about it. You can follow them pretty easy. <laughs> Not a pretty picture, but that's that's just part of scouting around and looking for various signs. There are many different signs. That's a pretty obvious one. It tells you a lot too. Not only that there was a bear here. I've found several in this area, so the bears are here pretty frequently. And that's a that's a pretty good load right there, so it's also probably a pretty decent sized bear. We're going to go in and re load the bait. I came in here about three days ago and set the bait barrel up and I wanted to film that so that uh, anybody interested could see it. But as usual for the last month it's been raining pretty good. The, the leaves were dripping everything there. It was just not good for the camera to, to be able to do that. And uh, if I bring my small camera there is a waterproof case for it so you can put it in the water but uh, but then of course it's sealed and you don't get any sound. So we're going to carry on uh, just about another half a mile up here. The bait's out there so you just never know. So let's just mosey on a bit here. This is certainly bear habitat. Now I've talked several times I've made comments about how thick it is up here and uh, one of the reasons I use a pretty big gun for black bears is that you don't want to have to track them and so on and that's why that's it's like that everywhere here it's just thick disappointing. Well, we'll put some more bait in it anyways. This bait's always been a, just a, a good bait. Yeah, not any, even those bits of fish. You'd think even the ravens and stuff would have come for that. That's unusual. But you know, we put that scented oil out and it's just poured. So not much chance of it staying and scenting the area for them to find as well. Let's reload it. We got, got the stuff. Yeah, we got more stuff. We might as well reload it. Open up a little bit. And what I have here is a bucket of fryer oil. Uh, in the U.S., you would consider that to be grease. It's from the local Kentucky Fried Chicken type place. And it, actually, I'll pour some of that off because it's full of cracked corn. And then I just saturated it with the oil. So let me just do that. You can see. And then we'll carry on. secret weapons here are these bear pancakes and we make them up just out of just like you would make a pancake only this one happens to have raspberry jello in it I don't know why they make raspberry blue but they do so we just break it into small pieces if you leave it too big the bears will just take a whole mouthful of it and haul it away off into the trees and they'll eat it in there and then I'll come back for another big mouthful. And uh, it doesn't give you much time with them standing right here at the bait for you to make your shot. So the idea is to keep them here uh, as long as possible. So we'll do that, hopefully. And we'll just shove that back a little bit. work a little bit for it. Put some of these out front so that they can't miss. 
miss it. Realize what there is. Okay. Well, we'll just put our sticks back up. Pour a little more fryer grease on the outside. And we can go. I don't mind making a little noise here, bumping the barrel around a bit. Because the bears are they're not far away. They're close enough by, and they'll hear that. And I'm hoping that they'll understand that, you know, we're kind of ringing the dinner bell. It usually works that way, so. Dump some more oil. Let everybody know it's here. And that pretty much does it. We'll come back in a couple more days. This has been a pretty good bait. It's like I said, it's thick in here. We wait until we get some activity before we actually set the stand in place. But that tree that's in the clear right there is our target, is where we're going to set the tree stand. And it is, let's just get a measure here with the it is exactly yeah 13 13 and a half yards so that would be uh that would be a dandy bow shot even anyway that's it for today well that's a big old pile there's some big bears here That's thick stuff. Everywhere up here is like that. You can't see 20 yards. <laughs>